Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a fun and exciting new way to smartly and intelligently apply filters to your images. So some time ago, and I say that because I'm not sure how long ago the app was released for iOS, an app was released called Prisma, and it was recently released for Android, which does just that. It applies a, or applies a select filter, they have a number of them, to your image by scanning them, checking out all the different uh, features of the image, and then applying the filter so it uh, properly converts it rather than just doing a quick fix, changing the hues and things like that. So the one requirement going into using the app itself is to have a solid, reliable internet connection, whether you are on Wi-Fi or mobile data. The reasoning here is that when you apply the filter, it does send the image over to Prisma servers to analyze a picture and figure out how to apply it, and then send it back to your device to show you the result and then um, select the degree of applying that filter. So let's take a look. Um, you'll see this nice white circle icon with a black triangle and then you'll get um, your camera view so you can directly take a picture or you can um, use an image from the gallery. Um, going into the settings will let you save your original pictures, save artworks automatically, adding a watermark um, if you want or not so it'll add a little Prisma writing on the bottom right of your image. And that's basically about it as far as settings go. The other one, the rest of the settings are basically in the image themselves. Um, so I'll go ahead and add an image from my gallery. Um, I'll take, I'll use this one that I took a screenshot from Batman the Killing Joke in the opening scenes. Um, so panning around, you'll see you can use a grid to line up the image itself. You can zoom in. Um, zoom out. Um, it is still only at a square image so if you do have a widescreen image you may need to resize it using the apps like InstaSize and then seeing if the results come to your liking. I haven't tested it yet but I may do that just to see how the borders and that particular image is affected in Prisma itself. Um, so I'm gonna use leave it at here so we have the buildings, we have the moon, um, you can rotate the image um, 90 degrees at a time, so uh, nothing special there, and it's pretty self-explanatory. And then you'll hit the next button, and you'll get the fr the filters themselves, and they're labeled with a generic look of how, kind of what that filter itself does. So you can kind of see how it may, in your mind, um, um, filter the image itself. So um, in the case of this image. Um, one of the first ones with the billboard um, seemed to work, seemed to look like it's something that would work well. So it's the one that's hashtag um, get urban. So um, I'll select that one. You see, create artwork. So let's analyze the image, send it, sent it to Prisma, came back. I have a pretty solid connection, so the speed was good. And from here, it applies applied a full 100% filter. So you kind of see how it affected it and then you can slide your finger right to left left to right to select the degree of how much you want to filter the image so let's say you want to only do a 25% uh, uh, filter to only do a slight effect or you see it didn't do too much so in this case I may want to do it at um, a little bit more so maybe up to 75 I'm um, going all the way kind of makes it all very very black and white so if I want to keep more of the Sky, um, mix of black and darkness in the sky then maybe I'll stick it here at 50% and then you can easily save the in, the resulting image to your device share to if Instagram Facebook or if you want to share it somewhere else let's say by um, email Google Plus LinkedIn um, WhatsApp tweet it um, you can do any of that so that's pretty much there all there is for that and that's about it now let's say you don't like the filter you use and you want to select a different one so let's say um, this one called dreams it looks like something else that stands out as something that might work so I'll select that and you can see that it um, applied it a little bit differently there um, based on the clouds and the buildings um, and let's say I want to let's say I do the same thing I only I don't like it all the way up at 50% it's a bit much um, so let's say I only want it at the same, let's go back to the 50%, you can see how it looks there. So that's 50%, here it is at 0, and here it is at 100%. So it's a live preview once the um, filter, or once your image has been processed, and then 
um, from here, that's all there is to that. So you can easily share it however you want or just save it to your device if you want a specific filter. So that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at PatelN01. It's available for free for um, Android and Google Play and for um, iOS devices in the Apple App Store. I haven't seen it's avail- if it's available for Windows 10. I don't think so yet, and I don't think it's available in the Amazon App Store either. Um, but I'll have to go back and check. And the app itself is also free, so you can install it, play around with it, and see how you like it. So that is all there is for that. So if you, um, thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.